And I was getting like this uh, weird burning sensation kind of stuff when I was eating, like always bloated. And there was just something wasn't adding up. So I knew there's something physically wrong with me. And I know I need to make a change. So I finally called up Jason and said, hey, can you send me, do an introduction to this, this Deerfields clinic? I really want to start on this. I'm like, I can't wait anymore. I think it was like over 250 pounds at that point. I was like, and I had dropped weight. <laughs> like I think mm. I, I ended up having COVID. So I dropped like six or seven pounds, but it just was, I wasn't drinking alcohol and I was still not losing weight. And I'm like, this is, there's something other else going on. And again, I don't know if this was related to the brain or, but everything just kind of came together. So set up the appointment and uh, during the evaluation, they do everything, right? So you're there for like six, seven hours. You're doing like a VO2 max. Um, you're, doing, you're taking blood. They're taking like uh, all your vitals, you know, your fat content. They're going with ultrasound to look into your organs, checking mm -hmm. your prostates. Mm -hmm. Everything. Everything. Right before we're doing some of the, like in between some of the, the, the tests, uh, the doctor, my, my doctor there, Dr. K, Dr. Knipping, uh, does a physical with you, right? So we already had a lifestyle coach, doctor talk about kind of lifestyles, and he kind of does a deep brief. He does a quick physical. And he's like, so I remember at the end of the physical, he looked at me and he's like, uh, he's like, so is there anything else that uh, you're kind of concerned about? He goes, I know you're, because I see over here your basic things were, you know, you want to be able to check your heart, make sure your heart is good, because that was number one for me on the list. Number two is like, get rid of the stubborn weight that wasn't dropping. And he goes, number three is to manage stress because, you know, our, our families didn't manage stress that well. And I think that also led to uh, my father's early death. So he said, I said, yeah, doc. I don't know, like a couple of years ago, about three, four years ago at this point, I'm like, I heard this whooshing sound in my ear and, and he just stops and he looks at me and he's like, okay, uh, what did your doctor do? And I said, well, she sent me to a nearest nose and throat doctor. He's like, okay. And what did they do? Did a test and said it was everything fine. And he said, uh, so did they do a CT scan on you? I said, CT scan? Why would I need to see a CT scan? So if you know the CT scan, they inject you with dye mm -hmm. and they see like your organs and it's kind of like a, an X-ray before your, your soft tissues, I believe exactly. it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I said, no, he goes, uh, I'll be honest with you. What you're, what you're explaining to me right now sounds like a precursor to an aneurysm. Mm. 